Good morning, Lindy, and I'm coach on the run. A couple of fallacies about business is the moment you print your business cards, and you get your, your website and your email accounts, and you possibly get a premise as well, your business starts. And things will just happen, won't it? Or a uh, fallacy is um, you uh, decide to branch out uh, to a different part of the country and you get yourself an office, you stick some staff into the office and um, you tell them, hey, get on with it. You know how this will work, hey? Or another fallacy is uh, you want to win the A-League and you appoint yourself a couple of B and C type players and you expect them to help you carry the business across the line. Another fallacy is to never ever look at the scoreboard and think we'll figure it out. Another fallacy is to go about business without a plan, to have no idea of what your outcomes, uh, what is the outcomes you want, no idea in terms of how you're doing and you know how close or how far are we. And another fallacy is never to have any systems in place or not to have a marketing plan, no idea of who's your real client and what is the problem you're looking to solve. A lot of fallacies out there in the world of business that makes us think that business is supposed to be easy can never be further from the truth. The more I coach business owners and the more we work together, I get to realize that one of the biggest fallacies in life is if nothing else works for me in life, well, maybe I'll be good at building a business. So what does it take to be successful in business? Well, first of all, you need to have a very clear uh, idea of your future. Why is it that you want this business? What is this business supposed to give you? What are you looking to earn from this business? What will your uh, return on investment be over a couple of years? Um, you know, and then having things in place like a real game plan with a very specific business model, looking at your financials, understanding the financials, know your numbers, um, you know, uh, and then, of course, have a marketing plan. Make sure that you know exactly what your target market are and, and have your marketing strategies. Then systemize, optimize, and then most important, get the right team, like they say, on the bus, in the right seats. There's a very specific art to being a business owner. So the real definition of a business is a successful, profitable commercial enterprise that effectively works without the owner. And that's what I coach business owners. Because I believe once you decide to become a business owner, you're on a journey that will test you. You will be tested for your courage. You will be tested for your perseverance. You will be tested for the decisions that you make or don't make. So yeah, business is never supposed to be easy because then everybody would have succeeded at it. Business can be infinitely more simple if we uh, learn, if we develop our own sense of business, and if we understand what it takes to be really successful at business. So I'm a business coach, and this is what I do. Let's have that conversation about where you are in your journey with your business. And, as you, uh, you know, and I suppose there's lots of things that can change. But like Jim Rowan said, don't wish our lives were easier. Wish we were better. May you have a fantastic Tuesday. We'll chat again soon. Cheers.